Welcome back to the Midlife Ride. We are once again here at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. Now, what makes this one different, what makes this room tour different from our other one is that we're in a different tower. Our other room, video, room tour video was in the Boulevard Tower. This one is in the Chelsea Tower, so we thought it'd be nice to give you all a sense of how the rooms are different. But when you've, oh, and we're also in room 2621. It is a one bedroom terrace with a fountain view, which of course we're going to show you. But one of our favorite things about these rooms here at the Cosmo are these light switches, which give you the opportunity to select your lighting in the room. There's the hello feature, the relax feature, and the goodbye feature. And I'll try to show you what happens when you press those buttons. So what you see right now is hello. And then if you hit relax, it dims the lights a little bit. And then of course, goodbye, it turns them all out. So for the purposes of this tour, I think you would prefer the hello lighting. So as you walk in, one of the major differences in this room uh, compared to the one we had before is the seating arrangement here. The couch is kind of an L shape. The other one's kind of curved. Uh, I like this couch better. Also the TV is over here on this wall as opposed to the other room. The TV was on this wall and I prefer this this setup in the Chelsea Tower room. I think it's much more comfortable. And the other thing they give you in this room that we didn't have in the Boulevard Tower room is this work desk, which uh, is nice because we have a lot of stuff to set up, laptops in particular. Now, if you're wondering, the Cosmo has never given you a coffee maker in the room. And this time is not any different. They still have, you know, your mini bar with your in-room dining menus in this cabinet, and I'm not going to touch it, is your mini bar fridge. You know, everything in there is on sensors, and the Cosmo in particular, those sensors are really sensitive. Uh, I know during our last day when we checked out, they tried to charge us for, for some stuff, which we had to dispute, and they were really good about taking care of those and getting them off. And you also have an iPad in here to control some of the settings in the room. It's not too terribly hot today. It's only 100 right now. And then they also give you this little welcome kit, which has, I see face masks, hand sanitizer. You want to pull And a stylus. And a stylus. Yeah. I'm really disappointed. I thought we were going to get some actual face masks that had the Cosmo logo on them, but those are just your, your standard disposable face masks. Mm-hmm. And then you also have like your ice buckets and plastic cups. And then in these other two cabinets, these are actually useful. You have one that has a mini fridge, so you can put some things in there to keep cool, which we always use. And then because there isn't a ton of storage in the Cosmo rooms, you do have a cabinet here with a couple of shelves to put some things in. And then as we swing around, there is this dressing bench in the middle of the floor. Uh, always want to be careful that in the middle of the night, if you are stumbling around and don't quite have your bearings, that's going to wreck your toe or your shin or your knee. And then you have a full length mirror to check yourself out before you go. And then right beside that, you have these closets which light up when you open the door. And as we pointed out in our previous room tour, you don't get a lot of hangers here at the Cosmo and this time it's not any different. So if you have, if you're an overpacker like we used to be, we've done really well this time and didn't pack as many clothes, you're going to have to request more hangers. And one of our favorite things about staying here, of course, are the robes and we will absolutely be using those later and there's also an ironing board in there if you need it and then right here in this other door you have your safe 
which we'll be using. You have an iron, and in those two little gray bags are sets of slippers, which we also use while we're here. And then we'll swing around to the bathroom. And the bathroom is actually three different sections. So this middle section, you have your two sinks with your mirrors, uh, a couple of drawers, the two handles on either side here are false drawers. You can't actually open those, so they don't really serve a purpose. But the two middle ones do open up, and that's where your hair dryer is, if you need it. And you can, you can close off this section with this pocket door right here. It slides to give you a little bit of privacy, if you need it. <laughs> And then you also have a separate section for, for your toilet area. And as usual, there's that face watching you when you're in there. You know, this, um, this toilet area, I don't know if it's bigger than the other one. I feel like there's more room in there, but also, it's nicely lit. The other one was very dim. Yeah, this this bathroom, this toilet area is much brighter than uh, the other room that we had. Yeah. For sure. And then you also have this magnification mirror, which can also be lit if you need it. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And then through the glass door, you have your shower area. And one thing I'll point out here, just like I did in the last video, is that lip right there into the shower is a really great way to stub your toe. So as you're walking in, as you're walking out, just be careful of that because you do not want your feet to be hurting any worse than they already will be <laughs> here in Las Vegas. And then you have a tiled shower area. And a rather large one too. I mean, this is a pretty big space. But really, our favorite feature of these rooms, of this floor plan, is the Japanese soaking tub. It easily fits two people and has two little seats there. But one of the great things is it has this window out to the strip, which I will show you real quick. And there's your view from the Japanese soaking tub. There is a blind up here to close off that window if you want to keep the light out. But if you're staying here and paying for this view, I don't know why you would, why you would want to keep the light out. All right, and then coming out of the shower and back into the main room, you have your single bedroom, which does have a door a pocket door that slides to close it off if you want to I don't know if you want if you just need some privacy from the other space like if somebody's sleeping maybe and somebody else is in here at the desk working or wants to stay up late and watch TV and not disturb the other person that door would come in handy and that reminds me while we're in here something else that was different about this room is this connecting door the room we had in the boulevard tower did not have a connecting door to another room. Um, so that's definitely different too. I guess you could get two adjoining rooms if you had a rather large party. And then here in the bedroom, you have a decent sized TV. You also have your temperature control right there if you don't want to use the iPad. This room has a king size bed, which is, we can tell you from experience, these are really comfortable beds here at the Cosmo. And then another feature I really like, or that we really like, is this control for the lighting here beside the bed. So you have, you know, you have switches for your bedroom for the relax feature. You can turn on the bathroom lights if you want to turn those on before you get up. Uh, instead of you know, fumbling around looking for light switches in the dark. And if you plan on doing any reading here in Las Vegas, 
you have these little pop out reading lights. We do not read while we're in Vegas, but we still like the feature. And the best part about the Cosmopolitan is this. You have your very own balcony to get you up close and personal with this view. And of course, if you want this view, you have to request the fountain view. The fountains aren't going off right now, but they will be later. And so we're in the Chelsea Tower, and the Chelsea Tower is actually bigger than the Boulevard Tower, so it sits back a little bit further from the strip. The Boulevard Tower is that building right there. So it's kind of that single tower. And you can see it's much closer to the strip itself get you a little bit closer to the fountains but still this view is really hard to beat as far as properties go here on the strip i mean you can see a lot of the las vegas strip from this view they also give you up here a chair to sit in if you want to and then as you swing around, you have the couch here too. And then just like before, one of the things I want to point out, because it's always deceiving on video, there's a lot more space here on the, between the railing and the glass than it actually appears. Um, so if you have any safety concerns up here, you have to work pretty hard to uh, get over there. Yeah, that's not happening. Yeah. So that is our room tour of room 2621 in the Chelsea Tower here at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. If you're curious how this compares to a higher floor in the Boulevard Tower, be sure to check out the video that I'll include here at the end of this video and you can compare the two for yourself. But until next time, we have some gambling to do. And, uh, in fact, we might see a little bit later to show you the night view from up here. But until then, we will see you on the next episode of The Midlife Ride. <laughs>